Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. This is Adam Rattler with Adam So Fun. And this week we are going to talk about wrap. Um, a lot of us do a lot of edge to edge designs. Um, if you have Pro Stitcher, then you know, it's it's doing the work for you. You just have to set it and forget it. The Ron Poe pill of quilting, I call it. Um, but when we're setting those designs up, when we're doing that edge to edge, some of those, they don't look right if you just repeat it. Like you, we want to get a little fancy, you know, maybe it's a clamshell. And when you use those clamshell designs, how it repeats, it's just going to repeat kind of those, um, we'll say, we'll call them scales or like Loch Ness monster humps. And that's going to go across. And then the next one's going to look exactly like it. It's just going to be ripples, but they're not offset. So we need to go in and we need to use a different feature in our pro stitchers so we can offset those lines and those rows and get them to sit perfectly. So, um, Today I'm going to work in in, uh, in simulator, so I'm going to have you with me over my shoulder. I'm not doing it on the um, actual machine because I don't have anything that I need to edge and edge and wrap. So um, I would like to make quilts for you all the time and quilt them and then do something with them. I don't know, give them to my dogs. Um, but sometimes I don't have time. I was gone for two weeks, or I was gone for a week teaching, and um, you know, next month I'm gone for two weeks, uh, so hopefully I see some of you out in some classes. But um, yeah, so we're gonna do wrap. Um, I am sporting my handy quilter jacket. How do I look? Thank you, thank you. Give me those thumbs ups. Um, it's freezing. For all of you who are getting affected by this storm, I'm so sorry. Like, you're in my thoughts, in my prayers. I've been texting um, all my friends in Dallas to make sure that they're doing okay. This is crazy. And I I flew, I left Dallas right before they closed it and um, came back to Cleveland where it's cold, but at least I have really warm clothes here. So, um, yeah, I just, I feel for you all. I'm freezing in my basement, but I'm like, I gotta get my videos made. So that's what I'm down here doing. Um, I'm gonna switch the camera around see you back here oh and if you don't follow me on social media make sure you do adam so fun and that's sew on facebook and instagram i am so excited with the project that i'm starting today um i'm just gonna say i'm loading up black material and if you watched last week's video when we talked about texture you know we're not gonna see any of that texture so i must be doing something interesting if i'm loading up black you know what i mean you know where i'm going so make sure you follow me on the social media so you can kind of see some snippets and um some things coming down the pipeline wink wink so um i'm gonna turn the camera around we'll see you back here in a second all right everyone here we are in simulator um this is on my computer and i know i'm in simulator because my crosshairs are green so green crosshairs always mean simulator purple crosshairs mean you are in free motion mode and orange crosshairs mean you're in pro stitcher mode so we always want to make sure that if we are setting something up in pro stitcher that those crosshairs are orange very important because if you do all this setup and your crosshairs are purple or green then you're going to have to realign everything after you engage those gears or after you bring your gears down so um here's our pro stitcher or here's our simulator i'm going to open my first design and i'm going to cancel this i already went through and opened them so i could get them here so in case you didn't know this file design open will open all your windows if you just click file and then design and remember we're doing files ribbon sidebar so your file tabs your ribbon is under that sidebar is where we can select things file in my tabs design in my ribbon you have this drop down and it's your quick select so anything that you've last used any designs you've last used will show up there so i'm going to open these clamshells and this is an hq design or a ps design dependent on what version you're running and it's under continuous line and it is clamshell with loop and i know that's what it's called oops i forgot mine is touchscreen clamshell with loop because it says it at the top of the screen and this says that it's um 3.99 inches in width and three inches tall so if i want to repeat this maybe we want to edge to edge a quilt with this i'm going to go to my repeat tab 
because I don't really need to edit this anyway. Um, I'm not going to set it up like I would an edge to edge design. Um, you can go back and look at the um, video I have setting up an edge to edge with Pro Stitcher. I'll link it below and that will show you how to do your area and all of that th stuff. This is just once you have that design, how to use that wrap, fe wrap feature. So here's my clamshell. I'm going to zoom out. So I'm just going to hit my down here on the bottom right, my um, minus magnifying glass. And then so repeat in my files. It, it defaults to the basic in the ribbon. So on my sidebar, we have horizontal and we have vertical. And there's some different options depending on which one you're in. So um, let's say I want 15 repeats. I could hit this a bunch or I can just top of my box and hit 15. And there's my 15 repeats across the row. Now we need to add some, um, or yeah, the rows. Now we need to add some more rows. So I'm going to tap on vertical. I know it's selected because it's green and I can hit the plus and let's just make, I don't know, eight. So obviously we have to do some editing to this design or it doesn't really look like a clamshell. Now this design right here looks very cool, very modern. Um, like Art Deco modern, not modern straight lines. <laughs> so I'm going to move my, I'm going to, with my simulate, I'm just moving my crosshairs out of the way so we can see this. And let's zoom in here. Um, so here is my design and I want to make this look like clamshells. <clears throat> so I'm going to come up and I'm going to select wrap in our ribbon. And some of you have maybe have never even seen this, don't know what it does. Wrap will let you shift rows in different directions to accomplish different things. So I will zoom in to our design a little more. And this is how it originally opened and how it repeated. Now, if I want to wrap, so say I want to make this into clamshell. So I need to shift each row over some. So under sidebar, I'm in wrap. You can see on the ribbon it's green. Sidebar, we still have vertical and horizontal. So I'm on my, I'm going to select my horizontal tab and I have, I can wrap my window, I can wrap my row, and I can shrink or increase that gap and do point to point. Best practice, I always hit this point to point. Now this design opened point to point, so I don't really have to hit it, but it's good practice to always hit it, especially if you want things to open point to point. Now this row, watch as I click this arrow and you can click either one. I'm just going to click the right. See how everything starts to shift. So I could just kind of look at it and be like, oh, and eyeball it, you know, ooh, is it, is that okay? But if I hit this half, so over on my sidebar, there's this half in the row column or the right here, it says row and there's one half next to it. If I tap it, it automatically shifts each row half over. So now I can, because this is how a clamshell looks, but I need to shrink those gaps. I need to bring them together. So over on my sidebar, I'm going to select vertical. And down here we see gap. And I'm just going to use this minus arrow. And I'm going to shrink that. Now here's one of the atom tricks. I'm going to zoom in really close. When I line up anything that like this, like clamshells, anything that should touch, um, that's only touching at one point. So like the clamshell is coming over, it needs to touch, and then it's going to go over and needs to touch. I could shrink this gap and make them touch. But then when I advance this quilt, I have to be really careful and align everything just perfect, or that's going to go over a stitch or might not touch it. So it might touch it sometimes, might touch it not at other times. And I don't want to deal with the stress of that. I don't want to freak out about this. So when I do this, I leave myself a little bit of a gap. Maybe um, this is two clicks. So that's 0 .02, 0 0.04 of an inch, like so small. And I'm going to leave myself just a little bit of a gap and maybe they never touch, but you can't see it. It's like this, a stitch width. It's like one stitch. So if they never touch, it's fine. 
And nobody's ever going to know any different because nobody's going to get that magnifying glass and sit up next to your quilt and say, ooh, did your clamshells touch here? Even when I'm using rulers, I get really close, but I don't actually touch that just so I never have to. I don't, I'm the person who, if I'm using a ruler and I have to touch it, I'm going to go over on an accident. So instead of going over, I just never touch it and they all look the same and it looks perfect and it's perfect enough for me and less stress. I enjoy my life and then I get to eat chocolate. You know me, anything about food. So that's how I would set this up. I'm going to hit my bottom house, which is refresh. And there's my wrapped clamshell design. Super easy, super easy to use. Let's do, let's try something else. Um, so I'm gonna hit file and I'm gonna hit clear all in my ribbon and just destroy it all. Um, let's do file design open. And this is a new design. So where did my, um, they are my designer, no. Oh, I need to go to my taco drive. I have so many designs, more designs. And I'm gonna use one of the new Diane Henry designs because I think these are fantastic. Hawaiian fern on point. So I'm gonna open that. And I just, this makes me think of warm weather and I'm so cold, so I'm gonna use this. And it's just, it's just a cute little fern. I love a fern. Again, I don't need to modify this in any way, so I don't need to worry about my modify tab because we're not fitting it. I'm not really putting this on a quilt. I, if I were, I would modify it and change the size and do all that. We're here to talk wrap. So we can go to our repeats. I'm selecting horizontal, that's why it's green. And I don't know, how many do we want? We'll say 12, because I just started clicking. So here's my design. It already, you can notice that um, point to point is already selected, so I don't have to select it. I wanna get these green lines out of the way. And now we need to add some vertical repeats. And I don't know, let's do it like that. So right here, if we look at this design, this design already looks great. I mean, I would use this exactly like this. Um, I wanna zoom in so we actually get, there we go. Um, I like the kind of secondary design you get in the interior of, interior of them. This makes me happy. It, I, it's Moroccan, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making something up. But it makes me happy. Looking at this makes me happy. But what happens if we wrap it? I don't know. Let's check. So I clicked on wrap in the ribbon. It's green. Remember, I'm going to select back on horizontal. And let's hit one half. And then again, we can do just like we did. I'm selecting vertical on our sidebar and I'm gonna shrink it in. And now this is kind of like a Hawaiian fern clamshell. And look how different those two designs are just by changing the second, like, second row up. The secondary pattern's no longer there. And I mean, this is a fantastic exa example of what you can do with wrap by just thinking outside the box and seeing what else you can make. Um, I just, I feel like I need to make something to put this design in because I love this design so much. So uh, thank you, Diane, for a fantastic design in the new Pro Stitcher. Um, so again, this is Diane Henry, Hawaiian Ferns on Point. But look at that. And then, you know what? If you didn't like it, clear it and do use the other one. But you can change it up and see. I did shrink this to see if the clamshells would actually touch and the fern's a little too tall. So if I wanted the lines to touch up, see how the fern's going over, um, which is fine. You, it's your quilt. You get to, uh oh, I don't want that. Look, I, I didn't unselect zoom. If you're ever in my class, I'm gonna do this all day. And what will I say? Uh oh, and then I fix it. So that's how it would look. Um, you could go in and edit this and make it not as tall so it fits and things, um, but I like, I like how it looked when there was a little bit of a gap. I'm digging this. I really, really like this design. So claps to, Di to Diane, snaps for Diane. Um, all right, next design, we're gonna clear this. All right, so let's open one more. File design open. And we are gonna open 
a um, Deb design. And this is SS DBD Gingerbread Kids Border. So again, this is gonna stitch like an edge to edge. So I'm gonna be able to connect it because it's a border design. Um, not super, or well, this is defaults to um, 24 inches wide and 12 inches tall. So it is a nice big design, but you know, in Pro Stitcher, we can do whatever we want to these designs. So we can make them smaller or bigger um, to fit our throat. All right, move these crosshairs out of the way and let's go back. We don't need to modify. We just want to jump, pop some repeats in here. I'm going to select point to point just to be sure. Some vertical repeats and let's zoom in. So here's this design. It's very cute, very cute how it is. But again, what happens if we decide we want to wrap one? So I'm going to select wrap, click back horizontal on our sidebar and I can do my row and I can just go through and wrap it until I think things look good. You know, this kind of offsets them just enough. I, th I actually, I like this. I like how it looks originally, but this gives it a little more dimension. It, it's not so, you know, here's row one, here's row two, here's row three. So sometimes I come in and wrap things just like that. This is really cute. So there's another function. If we see right here where it says window, we can um, use this button and what that is gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in so we can see it up close. So this is row one and this is how it's originally done. Um, what it will do is it will start row one right in the center of that design. So that design is boy, heart, girl. If I select one half and I'm in my horizontal, it's gonna cut that design in two. Now it didn't cut it right in the center of that heart and if we zoom in, we'll look here, but the boy is wider than the girl. So that the center of that heart isn't actually the center of the row, but we do have these arrows so I can move them over. And now that heart is cut right in the center of that row. And you can do the same thing over in the vertical tab. Oops, let's refresh. So that is wrap. It's a wrap. Um, not a lot to talk about other than this is how we can shift and move rows, make them offset to offset things. Um, some designs you have to use it in or they don't look up, look right like the um, clamshell did. Other designs like the Hawaiian fern look great as they are, but um, can also be wrapped to give it another look just like the gingerbread kids. So um, play around with it. Click click all the buttons, see what they do. It's all about getting comfortable with your Pro Stitcher. Uh, let me show you one more thing. So I'm gonna clear this. All right, so I'm gonna show you one more thing. So I'm gonna open the basketball design that I used in the Holy Crop. And let me just repeat it like we've been doing. And we don't need a ton. I'll shrink that gap. Now some things, I'm gonna zoom in here and this basketball design let me get the simulate out of the way um, this is how the basketball design would usually line up and you can see that things kind of nest pretty well together now if i went to wrap this so i'm going to hit wrap in my ribbon i'll have horizontal in the sidebar and i'm just going to use the arrows when i start to move things look how the basketball is getting up into the next design you have to be really careful you want to really pay attention to how things look when you're cutting or when you're wrapping them. So I'm gonna set this back to zero. And um, what I just realized is that I had my um, jumps turned off. So you couldn't see all the jumps, but just like when we crop, there's a button down here, it's a green and red button and it's edges. And we wanna close our edges just like we, um, we would when we're doing anything else. So I'm gonna wrap that first row, row horizontally, or the first window. So it's gonna cut this first design in half. And you see how everything now has starts and stops. So we wanna make sure if we're doing that, if you don't wanna deal with starts and stops, just like when we cropped, we wanna select down here, the edges button, 
and we want to close that wrap and you'll see that they all disappear. Now this one, if we went over to the vertical, and again, I'm going to zoom in so we can see good. This is the first line and I hit one half. It's going to crop that one in the middle and edges are, is already selected over here. So it's selected for this one as well. Um, but see how it wrapped that design up so it started halfway into it. And if I deselect the edges button, we'll see all those jumps come back. So anytime you see these jumps like this, there's usually an edges button that you can go in and close them. So this is definitely how I would do it. And then, you know, I would go over modify baseline, make sure I'm baselining it, and you can see the straight lines that it's going to stitch. So, um, just another feature inside of wrap that you want to be careful if you're cutting a row there's something there's a jump somewhere we didn't see it on the previous examples because i had my jumps turned off and i turned them back on so in our view tab um, and i see this a lot in the pro stitcher uh, posse or the handy quilter pages you know like i opened a design and i can't see it Sometimes people come in here and just start clicking things because they're like, maybe this will do what I want it to. The view tab, anything green is what you can see. So if I select design, I can't see the design, but I can see a start, I can see a stop, and I can see jumps. So anytime you open something and you can't see the design, but you see a start and stop, you probably turn design off. Same thing, if you made an area and you heard the dings, but you don't see anything, come over here and see if your area is turned on. Um, jumps as well. So I had the jumps off, so this is what it would look like. So here I have start and stop off, jumps off, design. If I open something, I wouldn't be able to see it. But if I tap on workspace over on our sidebar, it shows me right here, I have that repeat basketball design open. So I can come to my view tab and make sure things are turned on. Um, I always tell people just don't touch view so they don't accidentally turn something off that um, really should be on, especially their designs. So um, I'm gonna say that's a wrap with wrap. I'll see you back here in a second. All right, everyone, that is it with wrap. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you had reached out and asked for me to make a video on this. And usually I really wanted to do something where I'd stitch with it. But again, I don't have time to make a quilt. Not that one. I have so many other ones I'm working on. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos post. I always try to post them on Fridays. Um, but I will have some things popping up here and there. What, any other news? Uh, I know I'm teaching, I'm teaching today, so this video is dropping and I'm in a class. So I won't be there to answer questions, but I'll do it later. Um, anything else? I have some fun things coming down the pipeline. So like I said, make sure you follow me on social media, Adam So Fun, and that's an S-E-W on Facebook and Instagram. And um, yeah, miss you all. Please stay warm. Please stay safe. Um, prayers out to you all who are getting affected by this storm or any storm or anything. It's just, it's so crazy. Everything's too crazy. And at the end of the day, it's just quilty. We want to laugh. We want to have a good time. So go out there, hit those buttons on that pro stitcher, get used to it, get comfortable, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.